Sports are fairly popular in school, football, baseball, track and field, the list goes on and on. I know you like track and field, <laughs> but have you heard of eSports? We're talking about video gaming as a sport, not just playing in your house. The common hobby is gaining momentum across the globe, especially at the collegiate level. Tonight on your sides, Kayla Gaskins is here with how eSports is getting students scholarships to a local mm. university. In recent years, eSports has just exploded into this multi-billion, with a B, dollar industry. And now, ECPI University in Virginia Beach has brought the global phenomenon here to Hampton Roads. So if you have kids who like to play video games, those hours on the Xbox could earn them a college scholarship. <laughs> Zach Suda is preparing to try out for the new ECPI eSports team. Uh, it's intense, actually. Like, you can, you get your heart rate going, your adrenaline gets going whenever you really get focused. eSports are a form of competition using video games. Most games played at the college level, like League of Legends, use teams of five. Because you're relying on everyone around you to know what they need to be doing, and you need to know how they play the game in order to work with them. This fall, they'll compete against other schools across the country. We just want to compete, uh, you know, on this national stage and at this national level. And we've got some players that um, are pretty aggressive, and I believe we're going to be competitive this year. And just like other collegiate sports, these eSport players will be receiving college scholarships, anywhere from one to $5,000. Coaches say the skills gained through eSports translate to real-world success. Everything from teamwork to sportsmanship to um, technology. Especially in the tech and military world. I mean, if you look at some of the systems, um, you know, they're outfitting some of them to have Xbox controllers to, you know, be ready for this new generation that's coming out of college with these new tech skills because the world is changing and we're going to be there to change with it. Well, the university is in the process of creating a state-of-the-art lab for the team to practice and compete in. Tryouts for the team are June 22nd and 23rd. Reporting live, Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.